2021 is coming to an end very soon for some of us and has already come to an end for others and you're probably in 2022 when you're watching this but happy new year to each and every one of you and thank you for staying with me through the good and bad times it was thanks to each one of you that i could continue to push out content to keep you up to date with the polka news but also bring you new projects from DeFi to nfts to even meme tokens now i've also created a poll on twitter to ask you how was your 2021 crypto year been overall good or bad if you're on twitter please do vote in this poll but to kick things off with Polkadot's updates for New Year and what's been going on, Polkadot were proud to say that 2 million lines of code have been written across all the different applications, tools, etc. Over 20,000 nominators, which is a lot of stakers, around 10,000 developers, applications, tools, etc. have been developed, as we could see on Polkadot. And uh, yeah, over 10,000 developers were in their technical chats. 31 live substrate mainnets, 6,000 validators, and 2,391 ambassadors and candidates. But I think we all know that most important step for Polkadot and Kusama this year has been the launch of the parachain auctions, as well as the parachains themselves with up and running products on them, as we've seen with Moon River, for example, with so many DEXs that have launched and also NFT games. 16 parachains on Kusama and 5 parachains on Polkadot with a lot more to come in 2022. Just imagine how much further things will develop by the end of next year but let's take a quick look at the state of the parachain auctions polkadot's sixth parachain winner has been announced which is affinity engines project on polkadot and in march next year we could even see the launch of a metaverse composable finance look like they'll be the next in line to win the seventh auction on polkadot followed by centrifuge so nothing has changed in terms of that order then interlay and i do hope that equilibrium also make it in the second batch now personally i like to see centrifuge interlay equilibrium and hydro dx make it even if three of them make it it would still be good now on kusama's side robonomics are still favorites to win with their 13.47 thousand contribution and it looks like they'll win in the next auction the rest of the crowd loans have not changed but we'll see if the auction will change sometime next year for kusama when some new teams will begin development and decide to launch a crowd loan on kusama we'll surely get attention back towards kusama if this was to happen and before i continue on with the rest of the polka news i'd like to take a moment to thank today's channel sponsors french connection finance so let's watch this short clip and then i'll continue on thank you French Connection Finance, or FCF for short, is a crypto credit card and crypto payment gateway. Their card allows all crypto payments on e-commerce. Both the merchant and the retailer can benefit from it. FCF have three different products, FCF Pay, FCF World Connect, and FCF DeFi Wallet. FCF are also powered by the FCF Crypto Token. The FCF Token can earn you real passive income paid in the BNB Token. The FCF token is already created in a way to make the price increase with every transaction made on their FCF pay product. 1.5% of all transactions are evenly split in three between the dividend pool, the liquidity pool, and for maintenance and development. FCF also offer their one-click integrated DEX directly from their website by simply connecting to your MetaMask wallet, choosing the blockchain from the wide range available such as Ethereum, Polygon, Binance, Smart Chain, Moon River, Avalanche, and more, or alternatively from PancakeSwap or one of the centralized exchanges that have listed them. For more details, please check frenchconnection.finance from the description of this video. Thank you for watching. Rome DAO has been progressing nicely and have been delivering, not only developing their DAO even more, but they've got something else coming up, which I'll mention in a moment. But after seeing this tweet from them, it caught my attention. Apparently, Remark are going to be bringing support to Moon River soon, which I'm really happy about because I was starting to feel like Moon River is slowly getting abandoned and that the attention will move towards Moonbeam. But it looks like it's not the case, at least not yet, if it will ever happen. So Moon River will be the EVM compatible chain for Remark. It won't be only on state mine, which means it's easier to store the token uh, for those holding the remark token in your wallet so which is awesome because you can of course use metamask okay now let's talk about rome so after getting their DAO set up rome have designed the strategy for their rpg and uh, for those that don't know what the initials mean they stand for role playing game which means you can own a knight an archer or maybe a wizard and do quests or other types of missions so this is how it's going to look and every item that your character will have 
will be an NFT on Moon River Network. And apparently you will also need the Rome token, which will create some utility for it. If you've been watching my review of Rome DAO, you'll understand why I'm bullish on this project. And since I've done that video, I've still, I'm still compounding my stake in rewards. I want to actually see how things progress, especially as the price has picked up nicely since that video. It's trading at over $418 at the time of doing this video. It could get back to 1000 but who knows how much longer it could take, right? It could be a while, but I believe it would probably take a bigger push and that the game actually needs to go live for that to happen because a lot of the staking rewards were actually sold too. And I think a lot more holders are in it now. So they're generating more staking rewards and then those can sell more. So they could still be selling pressure as well. Keep that in mind. Now to go back to Moon River, they're also proud to announce that 2021 was a great year and that they had over 14.5 million transactions, over 380,000 wallets were created and over 1 million mover have been locked in collator staking. They are truly the most active parachain on Kusama and I'm sure some others are envious of them, especially as the price just didn't perform the same for the other parachains. Also, new DEXs are launching on Moon River, but personally, I like to start seeing Metaverse projects launch on Moon River. I believe the market is too saturated with DEXs, so I think in 2022, more Metaverse projects will appear on Ethereum and possibly migrate to Moon River. But for now, Huckleberry DEX team has just announced Thatcher's Reservoir on Moon River. Calamari don't have any news on Mary Pay or Mari Pay because it comes from Calamari, but perhaps it's still in the testing phase. Uh, but they do have updates on uh, Dolphin Testnet from Manta Network, so you can test it for yourself if you have a Windows OS. And finally, Bifrost have been busy with the VSKSM and VS.Salp to get people to contribute to the Kusama and Polkadot crowd loans through them. Uh, but they've also delivered the Bifrost to Kusama and Bifrost to Karura bridges in 2021 through X Transfer, and now they're also developing a Bifrost to State Mine, Kala, and Moon River Bridge. So once again, Moon River gets in the spotlight as that EVM network that's getting used by everyone. That's been it. Thanks very much for watch watching once again and Happy New Year. See you in 2022 with the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.